new draw for the start of the 1985 final series. Sudden death this, Carlton and North Melbourne. Justin Madden hovers over the ball. Johnston in there too, wins the free kick. The Carlton captain, first kick of the match. Hasn't placed it. Crocker took it easily in defence for North. Crocker picked in the forward line, playing at fullback. A nicely measured shot out of the little rover, Arsiri. Arsiri found a lot of form uh, last week and certainly he's lifted North Melbourne around the packs. Very quick, very good disposal. From the back flank to the wing. Demetrio, kicking to his own man there. Blackwell. Crocker starting off in the back pocket, having been named at full forward for North Melbourne. Hodgman named in the pocket, starting on the bench. It's Hodgman and Steele for North. A scramble over on the outer wing. English. Out to Meldrum. Kick four here last week. The pass to half forward. Glenn Denny. Half back. Goes from the flank to centre half back. And a good kick. Chest mark to Holt. No score in the opening minute and a half. John Holt up to centre wing to Keith Gregg. Goes past him to Phil Cracker. Gregg now in space. Cracker in board. Holt followed up. Back to Gregg. Well played. 299 games for the veteran. Inside half forward with a long kick. McCann has started at full forward. He's got it within kicking distance. McCann being stood up by young Stephen Silvani. Steve McCann, named at centre-half forward, started at full forward. Testing shot. Good kick. Oh. Great kick. Fine start by the Kangaroos. The underdogs in the elimination final, in fact, unwanted outsiders. Keith Gregg. Superb bustling play as he charged through and a great mark by McCann. Hunter was there and Silvani but uh, always in great shape. English up from the back pocket. Demetrio, oh reckless tackle Reese Jones back into the fray and he gets a free kick. Ooh. Umpire Cameron reaching into his sock. I think just to He's let the players... He's reporting him, I think. Out he comes is. the Barro. Demetrio reported in the opening four minutes. I thought it was a threatening gesture from umpire Cameron, but in fact he spotted something very early in that exchange because his hand moved towards his sock very early. Reese Jones yet again will be appearing as a witness on Monday night. Almost as many appearances of the tribunal. Reese Jones has been there eight. This will be his eighth time this year. Oh, wow. Well, well, it's a nice kick, McKenzie. From Madden, rather. Sorry, uh, McKenzie's about where Madden's going to kick the football. Harm says leave it, and Harms could be the first uh, Blues player to score. Tremendous initiative from the big fellow then to play on, and even though under pressure, really kick with purpose. Hunter's kick is long, and it is straight, and the scores are level. Five minutes in. Greg. Now McClure. Marku. Blackwell. Desperate snap. Harms. This fellow is capable of phenomenal feats on the big occasion. He looked like being outreached. He was certainly out of position, having to try and grope over the top, but he did it. Ooh. Harms has kicked Carlton, score of 1-1 in seven minutes of the elimination final. Good spoil English against Larkin. Holt, ooh. Much doubt about that. Not that uh, did too much harm. And away goes the left footer. It was a lovely kick of the ball. Stabbing delivery to Demetrio. On the centre line. Lead from McCann, but he doesn't uh, go that way. Went towards Cracker. Well played. McCann for his second. Yes. And 
full marks to Cracker. Alvin had his name all over it, but Cracker's late spoil set the goal up for Stephen McCann, who's kicked both of North Melbourne's major scores, and they lead by four points. Look at Phil Cracker here. He's done about three things in the game, all brilliant. And he's on a tough opponent, Alvin, and he made an easy goal there for Steve McCann. The fiery Donald McDonald just being simmered down by the runner. Crocker. Oh, he hasn't placed it well. McClure. Centimetres on Schimmelbush. Quick kick. McKenzie. That's a good mark. Parked his body. Coming in from the side. Plenty of strength and sticky fingers, although he took that one on his chest. Now, this should be a goal, and Carlton's second major conversion. And the Blues are back in front. Warren McKenzie in his first senior final causes the fourth lead change in 21 minutes. Johnston. Carlton's best. Good kick. Harms in front. Harms back onto it. And McClure and Murphy. Harms again. Shocking kick. Marku and McConville at the ball. McConville. Defenders back there, the ball just propped and copped on the goal line. And Murphy kicked the easiest goal imaginable for the Blues to be nine point leaders. And that's the only thing he's done for the match, and you couldn't do anything better than that than kick a goal. It's about the only, it's the only kick he's had, and it came back to him because he's in position. Fraser Murphy, a worry for Carlton on the forward line until he kicked that goal. Peter Dean's been sent to uh, play on Jim Cracker. The start of the second quarter, Carlton lead 24 to North Melbourne's 15. Madden standing closer to the ring than McDonald. Fire spring gets it away. Nice pick up there by Steele. Oh, one hand and drag off the football there by Smith. And Smith takes a free kick uh, in the centre. Plays that straight away, and Reese Jones was there all the time. That's a dreadful kick. Reese Jones plays on a little chip shot down to Marku. Waits for the bounce. Judge it nicely, then loops it back. Not like their chances here. North Melbourne thump it away. Beautiful Reese chance to Harms. Harms, let's go with a long one. Fraser Murphy and Dwyer. Uh, Just Murphy. Props and cops and shoots. And finds McClure. Mark McClure. Only about 15 metres from goal. Coming up for his eighth possession in the opening minute of the second quarter. Had a great season at centre-half forward for the Blues. This for his first goal of the match. Shocking kick. Still in play. In fact, the mark by Dwyer. Now, how could you not score from there? Impossible. Kicking straight down the centre. Number seven is Steele against to Johnson of Carlton. Road misjudged the loose ball. Martin nicely picked up. This is Steele. A lead from McCann. The back wasn't needed. Jonas was in the, in right, great position there. The handball of the way by our series. Just kicks a short one, but McCann will get there. Little our series. Gave it everything he had at that stage to drive that ball quickly, and McCann, two metres from goal. He's kicked there only two goals. Yes, and they're ten points down at this moment. Almost five minutes into the second quarter. McCann, McCann has uh, certainly got touch. Three goals to Steve McCann. Starring on the forward line. Three kicks, three goals. 100% from the full forward. As Peter Jonas, he's had clearly his best season since coming to North Melbourne from Adelaide. Career interrupted by uh, broken legs. Onto our Siri. Not a lot of penetration with his kick and it just dropped in McCann's lap. Seven and a half minutes gone in the second quarter. 26 plays 21. 
Law is there. Fingernails to it. Oh, comes back at it. Tackled by Rogue. Umpire calls for a ball up. North fans thought that maybe Law didn't have it when the tackle came. But it'll be balled up in between half-back and the wing, out of sight. And Road, on the other hand, beseeching umpire Cameron for the free. Now Carlton get it. Corkamilis again roving superbly to Madden. Looking for a target, and there's nothing there. Mackenzie circling. It's in his direction. Harms, is it? McConville. Fine mark from this versatile player who has plugged so many holes for the Blues in defence and up forward. He's doing it in attack at the moment. And puts it through. To give Carlton an 11 point lead at the eight and a half minute mark. Huge pack round this. And McDonald beats Madden. Goes to Rhodes. Puts it out in front of Mark Koo. He's handled pretty well. A couple of difficult uh, bouncing footballs. Harm ah, starring. His seventh possession, Wayne Harms. Mackenzie. Gee, he's proved a surprise back. Inboard to Buckley. And he goes to Buckley. They've wanted something from him. He hasn't shown any form at all this year. A couple of injuries. Started this game on the bench. And Warren McKenzie in his first season is doing some excellent things on the forward line. Good mark. Quick reactions to Buckley going past. There was no way James was going to miss it. Well, North Melbourne with the football in their forward line and McCann dangerous with three goals. English to Mark Coos. Good stuff. Madden starring in the ruck. Just inside the line, bounced back favourably. Here's McDonald, fumble, gets into it, upended. Grabbed there by Holt, he's a raking left footer. Beautiful kick! Sensational stuff. Finals football. Capped off, and that's what you have to do by that loping, raking left footer, John Holt. And North come back. Donald McDonald here stumbling. Knocked over by Buckley. The spills came out to Holt. Look at the way he got past Mark Who Thrashed away from him. And about two metres in from the white line. What a left footer. Ian Fairley coming off for North Melbourne. Hodgman for the first time in the match into the fray. That's good. Fairley's hardly touched the football. Hodgman's good around the pack. Here's Schimmelbush thrashing out. Be back. Threw the ball out in front of his experience. Told him to do that. And he wins the free kick in the back pocket. Wayne Schimmelbush, eight possessions to the 14-minute mark, second quarter. Bad kick. Well, you wouldn't think he'd played 29 finals with a kick like that. Opposing captain Wayne Johnston with the free. 12 possessions for him. Too far out to score. Beautiful kicker of the ball, though. 12 metres short. Oh, almost before. Oh, it's oh. been paid. Oh, dear. Very lucky. I felt he only had one hand to that. You don't often see those iffy uh, ones paid yeah. right in front of goal. Maybe in defence, but not there. This should be a gift, but we thought he had a gift earlier from 15 metres. He's taken four marks, McClure. This time he doesn't let the Blues down. They've had six goal kickers, Carlton. Certainly worth studying. Good long kick from Johnston. Placed it perfectly. McClure two to beat. Got the clean grab. But was oh. never really in control. Approaching the 17-minute mark. And it's an 18-point lead to Carlton. Schimmelbush, 20 metres in the clear. Marku, a good chase. Over the wing, Glendinning backs back into Dean. Hunter, off the hands. Up to half forward. 
Fly by Smith. Leaves it wide open for Calvin. Mark Koo well shepherded by McConville. Back to Harms. He can score. Inboard to Corkamilis. 30 metres out. 20. Now they've had seven goal kickers. I feel that he uh, is fairly ready to come back on. I feel that North may have to switch uh, Glenn Dinning into that half-back line because the Blues moving away now with a four-goal lead. And again, through play like this. Jim Buckley, the scout, smothered on his boot. Free kick to Arsiri. Yeah. Arsiri or Pagerton. Uh, he's on the half-back line for North, getting a few leads all over the place. Comes across here to McDonald. McDonald on the wing. Phil Cracker. Been starred for opportunities in this uh, quarter. Nice mark to Mitro against Corkamilis. But two Greeks. Two good players as well. He was reported in the first quarter, Demetrio. He's been reported in both his finals appearance here at VFL Park. A couple of years ago, he went the same way. Hodgman getting about his first touch. Out to Phil, uh, Phil Cracker. All the way, Cracker. Through man and Larkin kicks the goal. Unselfish play by Philip Cracker. And it keeps North within three goals. Delightful to watch uh, the skill of Phil Cracker, and he always seems to be running towards goal. A one grab man, and look at this. And as you said, uh, Drew, very unselfish. Doesn't kick terribly accurately. Good stuff by Law, but he loses it to Reese Jones. No. Nope. Ooh! <laughs> Trainer very quick to restrain Reese Jones, who was on the boil then. And I wouldn't blame him. That was a, an extremely vigorous tackle by Steele. North Melbourne free kick, ironically, goes to Law. To half forward. Glenn Dinning. Dean. Good smother by Glenn Dinning. Gives North a chance through our series. To full forward. Madden in the way. Oh, bad miss. English. Meldrum. Road. Perilous moment for the Blues, but they're out of it. Showing a lot of uh, skill under pressure, the Blues. More than the uh, Kangaroos. Hunter just caught it before Dwight crunched him. Swings around on that uh, left foot. Places it nicely to McClure. Another one he's struck. English gets it onto his boot very quickly. McCann out half back. Out to Greg. Caught but gets the handball away. But bad. English gets it for Carlton. Boots them clear. Mark Hu now with a new Guernsey. When you wear number 60, you're close to being over the fence. Johnson's handball's dreadful. McConville shepherded by Murphy. Allows you to screw around. Shocking miss. Should have kicked that. No more than 20 metres out. North Melbourne has got to start grabbing the ball first time. Carlton are beating them in that respect. Support from Road. Poor kick. Holt. Beyond the wing. Cracker! Did he come down with the ball? There's a push. And a Carlton free kick to Albert. Out on the halfback for his seventh possession. And Madden again. Gee, it's showing out. Six foot ten of him. The marks. The six. Johnson gets it. Quickly into full forward. Here comes McKenzie for Carlton. John Law in there with possession for North Melbourne. Into time on in the second quarter. Mackenzie wins. It comes to Johnston. Great. On to number 60, Alex Marku. And he puts it through. And now Carlton have kicked eight goals. And they have eight different players who've kicked them. <laughs> and that goal must go down beside Johnston's name as well. Because that was captaincy at its best. Brilliant defence-busting stuff. There's number seven, running onto it. The blind turn, 
and a very quick hand pass. So a good break to the Blues in time on in the second term. 25 point lead and the confident Carlton team will take some pegging back. McCann, there's Johnston again. An inspiration in this first half. Murphy getting better. Harms. Quick pass to Corkamelis. Within range. So he doesn't play on. 35 metres out. Marcazani spent about one minute on the field in the first half. But uh, Carlton have a very fleet-footed man to bring into the fray in the second half if required. A goal here would be a great boost to Carlton at the 27-minute mark. He's done it. He's the first in the Carlton side to kick more than one. And he stood out in this first half. He's now coming over to the bench for a breather. The Blues are 31-point leaders. Harms kicking here was superb. You couldn't have measured it off better. And good thinking and good running by Corkamilis to put himself in that position no more than 25 metres from goal. The Blues by 31 points, almost at the uh, half-time point. Lovely uh, palm out there by Madden, but uh, couldn't find a rover. Now he does. Reese Jones tackled by Schimmelbush. Didn't have the football. Shoots at the Harms. Harms is a long kick and let's go with everything he's got. And puts it through. In a trice, the Blues have struck back with two goals in brilliant play. Featuring their stars. The one that uh, Harms kicked uh, there to Cork Amelis is a beauty. And look at that. Uh, and Harms again features. So he joins Corkamelis on double figures. Twenty-nine and a half minutes gone in the second quarter, and North can't afford to concede another. In fact, they need one at the other end. Demetrio McCann. No, oh, try to punch it rather than mark it. Steele's been working very hard in that centre. Lovely delivery shot by Glenn Dinning. That's delightful stuff. And Glenn Dinning's coming to the game now. And a big effort needed from him. Also, uh, a bit more from McCann, although McCann has kicked three goals from three kicks. It won't make it. Oh, Jarvis, yes! Brilliant body control there. That was a switch back, went for it, twisted his body and came back. Clever mark, Jarvis. Well, if ever they needed goals, they need them now. They're 37 points behind at the 30-minute mark in this second turn. Things looking awfully bad. And he slammed that through. His first goal. Ben Denning after a good lead and mark. And look at the bodywork here by Peter Jonas against Hunter. Hunter didn't even see the mark taken. He was spearing groundwards. Thirty-one points the margin now. North have been good scorers late in quarters this season. Smith to Holt. Cracker with Alvin. Comes to the front, goes past Jonas. Marcus Arney for the Blues. Space out on centre wing. Harms charges and marks. The siren sounds for half time. Thirty-one point lead to Carlton after they led by nine points at quarter time. Two and a half minutes in the third quarter. Hunter's kick short of the wing. Ramsey back on the field for the second half. Harms delightful. McClure and Madden. Almost. Comes to McDonald. Smothered by Alvin. Back to McDonald. To half forward. Dean and Glenn Dinning. Road. And all Carlton out here. Three to one. 
32, wearing number 60 after having 34 ripped from his back. Where are the scouts? Oh, chance for McClure. Murphy inside for the hand pass, but it wouldn't bounce. Well played by the Kangaroo defence. Johnston, pressure still on. Awkward half volley for Marku. Demetrio to Larkin. And well set up by our series, good tackle. Larkin puts the ruse into attack. Beautiful pass to Hodgman, about ten and a half forward. He goes for the long shot, there's no one there. Oh, Alvin got there though. Phil Cracker, I think, gave up thinking the ball would carry through. Brilliant play from Alvin. Fantastic play. Reese Jones always appears to have more time than any other player. Centre of the ground. Mackenzie from the back. Quickly out, Hunter. McConville leads. Crocker out marks him. Ramsey. Oh, poorly placed kick. Straight back to Hunter, who can atone for his poor disposal a moment ago. English. Madden, unopposed. Now, the big fellow could kick it from here. He's a very good kick of the ball, particularly in view of his great height. Not many of the giants of the game kick with his authority. Fine goal. And that really puts the icing on the cake for the big fellow. He's been by far the most influential player on the ground. And he puts Carlton six goals in front. And notice that uh, he drops back into the back line with North Melbourne attacking and having a man six foot ten in that position. Uh, it's a real bonus. Madden has just kicked a fine goal uh, to cap off a, a wonderful game. He's best man on the field, most influential player. There he goes again, but this time to the wrong rover. Stuck it right down the neck of Larkin, who receives a push in the back from Corkamilis, and Larkin takes the kick around midfield. Up to half forward. Dean in front of Glenn Dinning. And Glenn Dinning has been most disappointed. Reese Jones to Johnston. Too fast for Melbourne. Jonas attempts a soccer. More upended. McDonald to our Siri. Leading wide is Hodgman. He had a choice of players inboard. Schimmelbush. Oh, bad kick. That's two shockers in this quarter. And that's out of bounds about 35 metres from the behind post. And that sort of ragged stuff from North doesn't really promise too much for this second half. They needed a spirited start to the second half and they haven't got it. Arsiri. Hard trier. Glenn Denning. Ooh, Tiki touch with free kick, which Dean doesn't like too much. And surely, from just 20 metres, Glenn Denning will goal. Madden gives him something big on the mark to kick over. Six kicks only to Ross Glenn Denning. But he's done it. Cuts the margin to 30 points. So the ruse, not out of touch yet. But they need plenty in this third quarter. Holt. Hodgman. Demetrio. Got a lot of pace. Runs away. Has a bounce in the middle. Change of direction. Good play, Demetrio. He's getting the ball forward now with a long kick up to McCann. But English takes it. All that effort comes unstuck with fine play by English. You so often see it after taking the ball so far. A disappointing kick. Alvin finds Melvin. He goes out wide to the loping Reese Jones. Murphy near centre wing. Well met by Schimmelbush, but still gets it away. To Marku. Under pressure. Oh, Mackenzie again. And in board to Corkamilis. Open goal, Wayne Johnston. His first, Carlton's 12th, and Warren McKenzie, the boy from Muralbark, has done it again. What excellent play. 
Keith Gregg, two Brownlow medals. I fear he's nearing the end of his career. And Mackenzie murdered him then. On to Corker Mealis. And Johnston gritting the teeth, knowing a goal's coming up. Hodgman's free kick. Larkin in front. Took it well. Still Carlton deep in attack, and here's danger, Reese Jones. Well done, McDonald. Well played, Donald McDonald, to halt. Glenn Dinning, as it's on behind play, and McDonald is having his number taken. Again, Reese Jones is the player involved. Larkin in the way. He playing must... well as Larkin. Yes, and to Ramsey, back on, across to Jonas. Good handball to Hodgman, racing through that middle. Oh, but he lost it. Bad fumble. Patched on to Steele. Man in the pocket of Schimmelbush. Oh, he's played on. He's got Arsiri in front of him. And Dimitro runs on now. He's a turn around, steady and kick, and he does! A better piece of football from North Melbourne. Uh, it hasn't happened often enough. They're certainly... Uh, Second favourites in this match, Carlton got too many guns for them, and the Blues still lead by five goals. But here Schimmelbush was caught there, Arsiri and Dimitro were only metres in front of here in the goals, and he steadies. That's a pretty good goal. Still just five goals the difference, and can be caught up quickly in modern football, but the trend would need to change. Schimmelbush, a long kick out of the middle, inside half forward. Alvin couldn't mark. Hodgman, good hand pass. Cracker, great hand pass. Still, two goals in a minute for North Melbourne. Certainly was cracker magic. Carlton has looked the better team from the outset, but the Roos contesting every issue. And here they go again, Schimmelbush. Great stuff by the captain. Holt would like to get back onto his left boot. Ramsey up from defence, bad fumble. Holt again, pumps them into attack. Arsiri, only man there. Anxious to kick in a hurry. Long bomb. All the way! Third goal to North Melbourne in the space of three minutes. Massive kick by little Arsiri. His first goal of the match. And the margin, suddenly, just 18 points. Well, that's incredible. Uh, it was six goals shortly before. Here's that brilliant kick. He's not a long kick. And look at the great shepherding there. McCann, the man, wrestling with English. And that ball just, just fell in. And all of a sudden, the picture has changed. There were six goals down a short while ago. Now it's only uh, 18 points. It's three that hard. And John Holt helped them get there. He's got possession again. And plucks that ball out, boots it to the wing. The man who kicked the last goal grabs it again. He's having a marvellous match. Deep on the wing. Into the half-forward flank to Cracker. Alvin knocks it out of Cracker's grasp. Bean shoots it to Corker Mills. That's good play. Carlton handball is superb. It's Meldrum. Corker Mills running on well. He's got it on the forward line now. Up the full forward to McKenzie. Oh, what a mark. McKenzie used his body and held out Greg. He's really giving Greg a hiding. It's his sixth mark, 35 metres from goal. It's a nice kick. McClure! Was it over? No, it's not. At least turn around with constant ease and goal. Very poor bit of defence by the North Melbourne players involved because McClure could have been on a, an almost impossible angle, even from that range. And they only had to check him, but they all virtually turned their backs on it. The mark was taken inside, no doubt about it. And then Fairley or Smith should have checked him. A steadying goal for the Blues after North had kicked three in three minutes. High tackle, North free kick, Matthew Larkin. For Steele, he's been one of North's good players. 
A fumble by Smith. It comes back to Steele. Beautiful. And Schimmelbusch has made a difference since coming out of defence after half time. Five kicks this quarter to Wayne Schimmelbusch. 15 metres against Meldrum, which makes all the difference. And now Schimmelbusch from 40 metres. Margin back to three goals. Madden clean possession and then caught by Holt. Reese Jones a great hand pass to McClure. Good left foot kick. No, it's not. I thought it was well, he attempted to centre, but it was off the side of his boot, out on the full in the forward pocket. Darren Crocker with the free kick. In this quarter, north of kick 5-1 to Carlton's three straight goals. McClure marks. Been a good focal point. He's taken seven marks at centre-half forward. Mackenzie's there. And McConville. They came down, sharing the ball, and McConville's been paid the mark. And what a fine effort it was. Just when the Blues needed something. He's been a very handy forward, taken four marks, kicked one goal, and this should be his second. The Blues need it. And he delivers the goods. So at the 23-minute mark, again Carlton extending the lead to 24 points. Time running out for North Melbourne now to really get a few goals on the board. McClure's kick. And the two Carlton men vying for the mark. Mackenzie having front position, but McConville coming from behind. Four hands on it all, Carlton hands. McConville paid it. Just past the 23 minute mark in this third quarter. Carlton lead by 24 points. Well, McCann on the ruck now misjudge it. Larkin doing well in the centre now for North Melbourne. Good play, our Siri. He's put some life into it in this third quarter. Across the steel, another good player. The handball's good for Bunnell. Certainly goal. And it's back to a three-goal uh, deficit for North Melbourne. But good play out of the middle with McCann now in the ruck against Madden. I wonder if he can stop him. Well, gee, Steele's been a good player, having come off the bench. The ball came loose there as Alvin was in good position to mark. Second time in this quarter, he hasn't taken the ball cleanly. And on each occasion, it's resulted in a very easy North Melbourne goal. And they're getting some easy ones at the moment, which I think is telling. The last quarter of the elimination final for one of these teams, the last quarter of the season. Carlton and North Melbourne, and North are fighting back. They're just 17 points down after trailing by as much as six goals during the third term and they've got first use of the ball Arsiri Hunter for Carlton Meldrum good supporting stuff Road Corkamilis pushed in the back squarely by Law and it's Corkamilis' free kick and Corkamilis on the outer wing not wasting any distance coming more or less straight down the ground Donald thumps it out. Interference uh, against Rowe to Demetrio there. He takes the kick on the outer flank. Law setting up the handball as Law takes it and puts it straight down to Glenn Dinning who should lift. But Hunter lifted from the back and took a great mark. Sixth mark to Ken Hunter. Half back flank. Up to the wing. All North. John Law. Our Siri. It's been a real find. They haven't lost a lot, perhaps, since Jim Cracker has been out suspended. Here's a free kick to Glenn Dinning. Carlton would be most aware of North's record of uh, winning most of their close ones. They beat Carlton in the first round by two points, kicking three goals in time on. Comes to steal. Fair kick. Cracker's there with Alvin. Support for Alvin from Hunter. Reese Jones. Alvin. Marku at halfback. In towards Harms. Good delivery, well taken. The Mercurial Harms started like a bomb, has faded. 
McClure contesting, but beaten. And the Ruse out of trouble. Johnston wins it cleverly. Marku again. Always under pressure now, though, the Blues. Reese Jones, nowhere to go. Finds a place to go. Murphy, Corkamelis. Good move this by Carl. Long to full forward. McConville, big hook shot. Up and down on the one spot. Corkamelis. Still in play, and now Law casually, nonchalantly, takes it through for a behind, and the margin is 18 points. And the mark to Fab, who has the job on McClure in this last quarter. Road in front, this time he wins with a very good two grabber on the wing. Blues looking for that early goal. If they don't get it, and North do, they're in trouble. McClure looks a bit weary. Smith boots North out of trouble. Holt on his uh, non-preferred kicking boot. But he's got the pace to get onto his preferred one. Good delivery. Hodgman. Centre half forward. Glenn Dinning within scoring range. 40 metres out. Directly in front. And this one could really open the game up. Great goal. And North Melbourne, by dint of tremendous persistence and determination, have fought their way back into this elimination final, trailing by just 12 points. Magnificent play by John Holt on the right wing. He burnt off Reese Jones. Got round onto his left boot, which was difficult to do. Found Hodgman, who found Glendini. Carlton led by nine points at quarter time. Skipped away to a 31-point lead at half time. But North outscored them in the third quarter to narrow it to 17 points. Tap up the ground by McKenzie. Intercepted for North. There's Glendini and Madden fighting for one. Madden with the height. His tenth mark for the game to centre half forward. Mackenzie in it again, taps to the back. Laws there for North. Demetrio in front, marks it half back. And the Blues have stopped winning the ball off those uh, centre half forward packs. The runners have faded out of the game. They're being eclipsed by North's younger, brisker runners. Alvin from the back, should have marked. Hodgman, big chance. Cracker. Arsiri. McCann, open goal. Fourth goal to McCann, North Melbourne swamping Carlton, trailing by just a goal at the eight minute mark. Just have a look at this, full of passion and play here from North Melbourne, the handball is great and Cracker, again the instigator, unselfish play, finds Arsiri who bobbled for a moment and over the top of McCann's being run down at this point by Blue defenders but just got it through. Greg takes it at half back. And North have kicked two goals in this quarter. Carlton one behind only. Three of them up there. They're showing signs of frustration. Panic the Blues. Scooped in by Larkin. Just in. Flipped out by Dean. Pick up the air. Hunter. No, Alvin to charge at the ball. Jonas was there for North Melbourne. Football's out. Only a few metres. North Melbourne's goal. And a goal in the, the Blues in front. John Kennedy who came to North this year, he might win, win a finals game here with them too. Hodgman, back to Demetrio. His shot for goal is there! Scores level! Madden won the tap, but he knocked it to Hodgman. Who went backwards away from goal to Andy Demetrio and a standing start from 35 metres, through it went.
Marquezani on for Carlton. They need some legs. They've got lead in their legs at the moment. Schimmelbush. Steele. Tremendous effort. And North full of impetus. Full of cheek. Smith. Jonas under it. Cracker, the danger man. They're in front. In this quarter, North Melbourne, four goals straight to one behind. Jonas missed with that one. Dean comes to Demetrio, who's starring on his wing, centering kick. Larkin quickly off. Hodgman in trouble. Lost it. Johnston. Leading kick winner on the ground, Wayne Johnston. Up to centre half forward. Reese Jones is there. Law spoils. Here's John Law now. Out to steal. Almost threw it to Larkin. Great play, North Melbourne. Smith. Donald, here's danger again for Carlton. McCann, North creating the loose man at will. Jonas, Chimblebush it is. Flying shot, what a goal! <laughs> Playing a record 29th final today, the North Melbourne captain has kicked the goal of the match. And North at two goals in front at the 14-minute mark. What a Cinderella finish in this elimination final. The Cinderella's North Melbourne. They've kicked five goals straight to Carlton Solitary behind, and they lead 107 to 95. And they were six goals down in the third quarter. Corkamillus for the Blues finds Reese Jones. His handball's been impeccable. Finds Johnson. Beautiful pass across here to McKenzie. McKenzie's accepted it. Took it on the grass, plays on. The man running in short. Marku looking really out on his feet. He's had a lot of work to do this afternoon. And he's been tackled ferociously as Jim Buckley uh, is off. And in fact, umpire Robinson, quite rightly, is allowing another Carlton player to take the kick. He's convinced that Marku is unable to take it and therefore, within the rules, it has to be given to the nearest Carlton player, who is McClure. Well, I wouldn't back McClure if the chance is too good today. He's missed one uh, closer in than this. Didn't make the distance uh, early. Carlton, two goals down. And he hasn't let them down with that kick. And now it's the Blues trailing by one goal, halfway through the final turn. Marku, uh, Cramp seems to have disappeared. He's OK now again. Put your bottom dollar, he'll be back. Here's Silvani, swings it onto the inner side of the ground to kick the hunter. Jonas behind him. Jonas on scouting well as Marcus Arnie dribbles it off. Brilliant catch by John Holt. He can just about kick him here. Huge left foot kick. Right in the arms of Big Madden. It's played an enormous game for them. A bad chip shot down to, to uh, English. Let's them run in on him. English kick now, a long one down towards the wing. Ramsey and Buckley. Dead heat here. Buckley gets in front of Ramsey. On the forward line now. Draws a play towards him. Finds McConnell as a loose man. He can run in and take his time. He puts a low hard one in. Was it touched? It wasn't. But McConville's got that through. One point the difference now. North in front. What a game. I must say, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that McConville was kicking from so far out because he could have run in another 20 metres, had a couple of bounces. Low, flat and straight. Carlton's forward line now. They're a point down, Johnson the Ruckman. Kicked up, out by uh, the Kangaroos. Madden slow, chipped on by John Law. He charges after the football, he'll do it again. Great pick up and attempt. Caught by Marcus Arnie. Dimitro on hand. Road got him, but he passed him. Good play, Dimitro. On the outer wing now. Phil Cracker. What a player. What a match he's put in. Is he brings it in towards Hodgman at centre half forward. The loose man set up now. A brilliant pass across here to McCann. That bounced in front of him. Forced the half volley. 
Charging downfield is a star halt. A left foot shot and it's through. 23 minute mark. That goal may be just enough. It gives him a seven point lead. John Holt's 17th kick. What a match. I don't think John Holt's ever played a match quite like this. It's been the game of his life. Beautiful kick. He's the epitome of a left footer. Number two. A lot of Carlton players look as though they've run out of legs. Centre wing Demetrio should have taken that mark. Chance to recover. Low pass to McCann. Now he's got it out in front of him. Stephen McCann drives it long to the goal square. Dwyer! And in front of goal, Jonas. Dwyer Siri to Dwyer! David Dwyer couldn't buy a kick early in the game. He was interchanged, and that one seals it. Great kick by Steve McCann. Dwyer had the sit on English. Couldn't get a touch to the ball. Jonas has never given up. Got rid of English too. Our Siri from all fours to Dwyer. North, our home. Play goes on. Johnston has never given it away. But the odds are overwhelming. There's Smith again. And there may well be a relay free kick. No. In fact, there's a Carlton free kick between wing and half forward. Oh, and a North Melbourne trainer kicks the ball away from Alvin. Just about deserved to be reported for deliberately wasting time. Carlton Fords aren't moving now. McClure at the back almost. McDonald. Arsiri. Smith. What a player this fellow has. Smith, Steele, Larkin, Schimmelbush. Ten kicks for the quarter. Enormous. A desperate hunter there to knock it out of the grass with McCann, but the Kangaroos have won it. They were 37 points down. They fought back an enormous finish, and in this final quarter, they've kicked seven goals, uh, one to the Blues, two goals, one. What about that for a finish? Wayne Schimmelbush. There was going to be a free. The umpire said play on. Schimmer could run 90 metres to kick a goal here. Now they start coming towards him. He passes inboard to Glenn Dinning. Oh. Beautiful play, Wayne Schimmelbush. Hey, why didn't he kick the goal himself? Tell me that. Glenn Dinning pops it home, and they are murdering Carlton. Eight goals to two in this final term. And a policeman's run onto the ground. He's out in amongst the players. I'm not sure what's on here run on 40 metres into the playing field. Must have thought he heard the siren. Very embarrassing for that constable. <laughs> Justin Madden's dominated the rucks, but that hasn't been enough to keep North Melbourne out. They've rolled in, and there it is. A fairy tale finish for the young glamour side North Melbourne. They've got up, and they've won. In the final term, 126 to 107. This has been a Fox Footy production.